Hey guys, this is Ken Bailey here, and uh, this is my first uh, Friday video. We're going to try to do these every Friday and uh, keep it fairly short. Just uh, kind of give you highlights and updates of what's going on this week. And uh, this uh, that you're looking at on the screen right here is um, the uh, re renewed uh, version of uh, creationranch.com uh, that, that I've been working on, focusing more on uh, the projects that are, are my projects, the ones I'm working on for myself, much more directly. And um, I, uh, I worked on a couple of logos, ideas. Um, down at the bottom, you see uh, uh, the idea of these was that um, each one's color would represent a new type of uh, project, whether it was plays and poetries or films or, or books that I'm working on. This, uh, this logo right here is, uh, is a variation on that that I did yesterday. Uh, kind of thought, well, this would have the, uh, is it the Maltese cross or something that would have more of a cross? Turned out looking more like a poker chip, but... Uh, I guess uh, I guess we all gamble in different ways, and uh, uh, I kind of like it. It makes this uh, the center part look like it's uh, the way I see it. It's sort of raised and and transparent and getting kind of crazy. But anyway, I'd, I'd love to hear from you on what you think about uh, these different designs. Um, the uh, the video that's here is a uh, is an overview video from a while back. It's kind of uh, exciting and embarrassing at the same time some projects that I was hoping to work on and I stopped uh, to do uh, real life things um, uh, some of those will happen some won't um, up here you see the different uh, uh, menu items that uh, we'll be filling out over time but what I wanted to share with you today was uh, that uh, one of the projects that I did uh, about a year and a half ago that I worked on was uh, I had this idea for um, for a web series. I've never done a web series, and I, I've always thought that'd be a lot of fun to do a web series. And uh, uh, at this point, I have no plans to do a web series, but I did back then. And uh, so I went to uh, to a fellow at a recording studio, and the idea was uh, that there was a, a rock and roll group in the '70s that had been uh, pretty hard living, hard riding guys, and um, and suddenly. As they uh, became boomers, they were boomers, and as they aged and uh, and got into their 60s, that uh, uh, they came back to the church, came back to God, and and um, <laughs> and uh, they changed changed their music. They they went back out uh, with their band. They brought the band back together, and uh, and so that was the idea of the web series. Well, I told a, a guy that has a local studio about it, and. He passed the concept along to a fellow, and this fellow called me one day and said, "Hey, I think I'm the guy that you're writing this uh, this web series about. That's actually my life." And his name was Shafe Schaefer, and uh, it was just a, a great time to be with Schaefer. I loved his story so much that I um, I tried to do a, a documentary on him, and uh, we had some we had some success. Uh, I tried to do it for the 2014 uh, Texas Christian Film Festival. And when it came time to show the film, um, the day of, there were lots of problems. Got it in the uh, in the editing of it, and, and we just weren't able to ever really make it happen. Things just kind of, uh, in weird ways, disappeared. Uh, files disappeared. Things don't work. So, you know, it's easy, uh, depending on where your faith walk is, it's easy to think, well, maybe now is not the time for this. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I got a call from Shave's son, and he said uh, that... Um, uh, his dad was real sick and uh, and was in the hospital and then I, I found out the following day that he passed away and so Patty and I went up to uh, to his graveside service this beautiful graveside service that they had on the on a frigid cold blowing day outside we were fortunately we were under a canopy and and the service mainly was um, was uh, shaved songs lyrics from his songs that the pastor read and uh, and I found out from uh, uh, during that time that um, that the last song that was playing uh, as as Shaves uh, kind of sweetly slipped away uh, at the hospital with his family all around him uh, was the song that I used uh, for the trailer that we we had done for uh, for his for his show and so I'm going to play that to you. And then I'll talk just briefly. It's just 
two minutes, 34 seconds. I'm going to play that, and then uh, I'm going to talk to you briefly afterwards about uh, what, what, how this has impacted me and my, uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing. When I'm in a tug of war with life Burdens heavy with despair In those quiet moments His soothing voice comes through the air I found myself in, in an emergency uh, room uh, uh, having several tests run because I couldn't sleep one night and thought it was a gallbladder issue and basically uh, after everything was said and done, the doctor comes in and tells me that uh, I have stage four uh, pancreatic cancer which is metastasized to the liver. And he said uh, the lesions he called them or the tumors, uh, the one in the pancreas was about a grapefruit size and there were uh, several of them on the liver which uh, ranged from being a uh, marble size to uh, a golf ball size. So with that uh, he kind of told me that uh, uh, you know under the circumstances I probably would have about five months to live and basically that kind of that kind of really shocked me. Uh, I mean I, I can still remember you know to this day the, the, the whole feel of that to be you know to be told that, hey, uh, you're going to die uh, pretty soon. <laughs> and, you know, you see that on television, you see it in the movies, and, and I actually had seen it another time in person when it was, you know, me and my father. Uh, my dad was uh, diagnosed with cancer, and I was there with him in the moment that he got the news that he had six months. And uh, I still remember that. Uh, you know, you wonder how, how are you going to take that when it happens, you know, and, and and you basically, I tried to take it like my dad did, you know. Uh, I know he was trying to be strong, uh, you know, for me. Uh, Just here. Just him and me. So, uh, wow, that was my friend Shape and uh, uh, the opening to the uh, to the documentary. Um, still, uh, I find it very moving, especially knowing what happened. Well, he didn't live five months; he lived almost ten years after that and he used all that 10 years that he was given by God to uh, to write songs to to use his instrument uh, the talents that had been given to uh, to glorify God and to uh, to do some amazing work and so I was it was just a real um, blessing in my life to meet shape and to get to work with him on some things and and I hope uh, <clears throat> even after his passing I hope to carry on some things about his legacy, show some things about his legacy. Uh, he has a, a wonderful family, and, and I just want to honor uh, his talent and what he did for uh, for God while he had the time. Well, based on that, and uh, you know, you carry that, that feeling with you all the time as you age that, uh, uh, that the clock's ticking and you've got things to do. Well, I, I've decided to take a year, I hope it's a year, and work on projects that... Uh, that I uh, that I'm really interested in, and um, one of the first ones I've already started is this uh, the Hellfighters of Texas, which is a uh, it's a creative nonfiction book that I'm that I'm working on, and then I, you've already seen uh, these these books down here, which are Dancing with Baptist, which is a, a novel based on it's a Vietnam era novel that I've got about two thirds through. Air quotes are simply. Um, Based on uh, on the airship that we have as uh, as the children of God, uh, just different quotes that I think are especially interesting or important or things that uh, I think have have movement to them. And, and then I'm very excited about Son of the Centurion. Uh, that's going to be a series, but it's uh, it's it's started off as a as a novel. It would also be a creative nonfiction in a way because 
Luke lived and so did the people that we're talking about from the Bible and, and the story of the son of the centurion. And uh, I'll tell you more about that as, as we get closer to doing things with, with these three books. But uh, uh, I just, um, as I've said before, I, I would appreciate your uh, your comments, your suggestions, your prayers, of course, and uh, and kind of following us to see what what's happening. You're you're a tiny bunch, I'm sure. We're hoping that people will subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, we're gonna have that be more like a like a television channel over time, and uh, our Facebook, Twitter, and all those things. Uh, I'm gonna learn to use Twitter a lot more than I have in the past, and uh, Instagram and vines and all those things that are out there that I haven't really had the time to uh, to work on. So thanks for checking with us here on this Friday and uh, come back next Friday and see what uh, what's going on. Let us hear from you and uh, and uh, you guys take care. Have a great week and uh, may God bless you.